Hey everyone, Marathon Hurdler here with an update video for the channel. I just did one of these videos a couple of weeks ago, but I kind of like the idea of doing a regular update video maybe once a month just to let you know what's changed since the last update video and talk about where the channel is going from here. And I also wanted to make this update video anyway because I want to test some things out with my recording setup and see how some things are changing, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. So since my last update video, I mentioned then that I was hoping to start recording like five days a week or putting up videos on the channel five days a week. If any, if you guys have been following the channel, you know that that obviously has not been happening, like not even close. And in fact, I've been uploading less than I had even planned to before, um, which was three days a week. So that was my kind of my baseline standard and I haven't even been able to live up to that. And so I, of course, want to apologize for that. That certainly was not my consistent there. But uh, my schedule has been a little bit crazy this month. I have been traveling quite a bit. I went home a couple of weeks ago. And when I did, I was hoping to get a lot of recording done at that time because I live in a, or my family lives in a pretty rural area. And so I was hoping that by being at home and having nothing to do, I'd be able to get like, two or three videos recorded a day and that would really set me up for recording a lot of video or uploading videos more often in the future. Unfortunately, that didn't quite happen and, and the reason for that is, well, my aunt and grandma actually came to visit me, which is pretty awesome actually. I hadn't been able to see them much over the last, what, four or five years, so I think this is the first time I had seen my aunt in like five years and only the second time I had seen my, my grandmother, so you know, it was good to see them, of course, but when they came down, it basically killed any time I was going to have to record because I spent just about all my time with my family and going and doing stuff, which, again, it's great because I don't get to see my family very often, but it did kind of kill an opportunity for me to record a lot, and that became more problematic when I came back because I knew even then that when I came back, I wasn't going to have a ton of time to record, so... Losing that time really set me back, and I've been trying to catch up, but it's been really difficult, and I'm actually getting ready to go out of town again next week, so I won't really be able to upload any videos next week either. However, I have been recording some videos today. I've got three Final Fantasy videos uh, set to go on the channel, and I'm hoping to record an Arthur Lad video after this one, although we'll see if I actually have time to, uh, to do that. And if not, I'm not too worried about it, but we're, we'll see what I can do there. But... I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm not on any sort of hiatus. I am still here and I'm still planning on doing a lot of recording. It just might be a little inconsistent for the next month or so. But by October, certainly, I'll be in a position where I can start uploading videos five days a week. And I always knew that was going to be the time at the latest when it was going to happen. I just kind of hoped that I would be able to do it before then. But it does not seem like that's going to be the case. Which, again... It's fine, it's just that's just how it goes. Uh, not too worried about that. Um, let's see. So that's the big first, that's the first thing there. I will be uploading more videos in the future. Just be patient with me in the meantime. The second thing that I want to talk about, which is kind of a continuation off of my last update video, um, are some changes to my setup and some technical issues I have been having before and how I am addressing those currently. So the first big change that I made at the time of my last update video was um, using my headphones directly with my TV to hear the gameplay as I was recording. And I've been doing that since that time, and though I haven't really played any games that have any voice acting, it has made a big difference because I can actually hear what's going on in the gameplay, which helps with my commentary a little bit. And especially if I want to start playing games with voice acting, that's having these headphones are going to be key. So. That's worked out well so far. One other thing that hasn't worked out so far, and one thing I'm hoping this video will help address, is my actual recording, or my my own personal audio, or my commentary. Uh, the issue that I've been having with my commentary is that it seems like my recording software, the Elgato, will just randomly drop out my recording, or my audio. Huge deal. But I noticed it, I really noticed it today, when I was recording one of my Final Fantasy videos, and my outro there, my usual kind of conclusion that I use at the end of my videos, part of that got cut out. And again, not a big deal. I mean, it's just an outro, but it made me realize that this is a problem that isn't going away. In fact, it seems to be getting a little bit worse. And I'm, 
I think my current theory, we'll see if that actually, if it actually pans out to be true, but my current theory is that the problem was that I had my audio settings way too high, so I had like my recording to set to where it would pick up like my, my voice really easily and make it pretty loud so that I wouldn't have to talk super loud to be able to be heard. And also then when I heard played my videos over my computer, I could hear them without having to use headphones or anything like that. Which is a nice convenience to have, but if it's causing my audio to screw up, then I don't really want to do that anymore. So I'm turning down my audio a little bit, both my commentary and the game audio a bit. Um, hopefully the balance is good. We'll see if that's the case or not. If it isn't, then obviously I'll address it at that time. But uh, we'll kind of see how that goes. And hopefully this addresses the dropout issue. If it doesn't, then I might have to just get a new computer, which I was already planning to do. But I was hoping to be able to possibly push that off a little bit because I don't have a ton of money right now. And while I need to get a computer for just for work anyway, I, it doesn't change the fact that I don't have the money for it right now. So hopefully this works and this is a viable solution. Either that or I'm just going to have to live with the cutout and just kind of mention that once in a while in my videos just so you guys are aware of it. But... um because again, it's not a huge deal. It's not like it's dropping my audio for like 20 seconds at a time. It's just like two or three seconds. So like, it'll just kind of cut out part of a sentence or something. But hopefully I can take care. Hopefully this addresses that because, you know, right now with Final Fantasy, it's not a big deal because I'm not really doing any, anything that requires that much strategy. But like for a game like this, like Nino Kuni, where there's a little bit more going on, it could become a bit of a problem. So we'll see what happens there. Um, so that's the second issue. The third issue was just being able to record these games in general because as I mentioned in my last video, my computers had problems trying to record PS3 games. But as I was digging through some of my videos earlier, I realized that I actually did a test video a while back um, when I came back from my hiatus and I used Final Fantasy 13 2 as the game that I was playing in the background, which is of course a PS3 game. So. It seems like the problem is not that I just can't record PS3 games at all, but maybe it was the particular game that was the problem. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. I mean, that could be the issue there, but because the game that I was trying to record with my last video test video was Disgaea D2, and obviously there's a lot of stuff going on in those games, so maybe that was causing the problem. I don't really know, but what gives me some hope is that today I was record when I was recording. Um, Despite the audio issues, I didn't have any problem editing the videos, which in the past has really been a problem for me. But maybe with the update that came with Windows 10, all those issues, I'm hoping so. Um, because if I, that's the case, then I could finally start playing some PS3 games, which would obviously add a lot of variety to the games that I could play. And I have some plans for how I could handle that if this works out. So that's what this video is largely for, to be able to test if I can actually start recording PS3 games and if so, then, well, maybe you'll see a game like Nino Kuni in the very near future once I kind of clear off my some of my current games. So I think that's really just about everything. I mean, I was going to talk a little bit about Nino Kuni, the game, but I figure now is not a great time to do that because there's so much going on here that I can never hope to explain everything in one video. And I really don't want my updated videos getting too long, um, even though this is going to be about 10 minutes. But basically, Nino Kuni... A lot of people compare it to Pokemon, which is, I mean, it's a it's an okay comparison. There are certainly some 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 very close similarities in the two games. You know, you're catching monsters or animals to fight for you. You have the whole rock paper scissors type effective type effectiveness thing going on. So there are some similarities there, but in terms of the game itself, it's really a massive JRPG along the lines of like a Dragon Quest VIII or something like that. You're not gonna get you know, like a super realistic, or I don't want to say realistic, but you're not getting like the Final Fantasy trying to be more realistic type of game. You're definitely getting a fantasy fantasy set in a world which is very bright and livid, but obviously very fantasy-like. So, um, it's probably, I would say it's kind of a, a, kind of a mix between those two, but obviously there's a lot of going on here and a lot of unique mechanics to make it really just its own game. So I'm not going to try to explain that here. But if this video works, and if you're seeing this video on YouTube, well, then there's a good chance that I'm going to be playing this game in the next couple of months. So 
hopefully this all works out and you guys can see this game soon. But until then, this has been Marathon Hurdler. I want to thank you as always for checking out my videos and hopefully I will see you next time.